So Doc, this is the problem, Doc. My cousin, he did 20 years in jail, went to jail when he was 17, came home when he was 37. All right. Very successful now, uh, you know, doing well for himself, you know, Lamborghinis, all type of stuff, you know. But the problem was he jerked off 7,300 days in jail. Okay. So something wrong with his piece, man. All right, we're going to figure that out. All right. We're going to figure he out. We're on his way here. We're trying right. to get him back 7, on track. 7,300 times? Yeah, that's how many days he spent in jail. He said he did once a day. Once a day. All right, all right. We're going to figure this so out. So I don't know if he got a cap gun now. I don't know what's going on, but he going through it. All right, all right. I just right. wanted to get here and tell you before you come in. Cause you know he might be trying to beat around the bush. You know, <laughs> beat around the bush. Yeah, you know, <laughs> beat around the bush, telling you what's going on. All right, you know, all right, know, we'll just, take care of. Black understanding of why we here. See, it's about education. We really appreciate y'all, man. Let's go. What you mean, pump it up? How you pump it up? Like get off, I don't want no feet, man. Hey, what's happening, man? Nice to meet you. Yeah. God, how you doing? Really the happy is Dr. Lee Great, 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 great. Well, thanks for coming in, guys. Really okay, you gotta tell us what's going on, man. How are you doing? Know? Yeah, yeah, so... Tell um, us. You throw me in there. <laughs> <laughs> you just trying to figure out. Yeah, so um, this is uh, Rockwell Center. So we, uh, we're a concierge. We close the we're um, a sexual medicine center. Uh, I have practices in Philly. Just got a practice in New York. Got a practice up in Allentown. We treat uh, men for a bunch of different issues, guys that have problems with erections, premature ejaculation, that means you're ejaculating too quickly, pain with intercourse. When you say ejaculating too quick, you mean like, not that bad. Like 30 seconds. Like, Whoa! Like, <laughs> not but I thought they had to that's do the most, That's the most common, but that's the most common sexual problem, is guys that have premature ejaculation. I'm they're issues. coming too quick. It means they're coming too quick. So now, you mean to tell me, because I thought that was all the woman how good the vagina was. Not always. There's so some you, guys that can't even get into the vagina. Whoa! No, 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 I will say this. You know, me being in jail a lot of times, and me, uh... You know, yeah. I don't know... What's that? Shaking, you know, shaking the dice. Yeah, yeah, shaking it up. Shaking it up. You know what I mean? Uh, I didn't have, you know, it depends on if I had a good smut book at the time in yeah. the cell. Whoa! Ah, you know what I mean? So I didn't have them type of moments. Yeah, yeah. So right. I need to know, like, because a lot of people don't, nobody never heard about that one. Like, you can't get into the work and it's just like, wham. Well, you don't hear about it until it happens to you, right? And so same thing with like erection problems. You don't hear about that until guys start having problems, right? And it's nothing like not being able to like get that erection, right? Because it's, you know, it, the funny thing is I had this one, um, this nurse that's worked for my office. She's like, doc, I can't really work for you. I'm not, all my girls are like, oh, all I do is try to get penises up, make them larger, or try to make vaginas, you know, try to, you know, improve the health of the vagina. And I'm like, listen, that's not what we're working with. We're working with confidence. We're working with relationships, right? Because it's nothing like when you're not able to have an erection, right? And you're with your partner and, sh and it's not happening, right? Your confidence goes way down, Dude, way down. His confidence goes right? all over. And so that's what we're really working with here. We're working with just like all these things that you can, that people just don't feel comfortable with talking to their primary care doctor or whatever. They come here and we really focus on just like enhancing their sexual health. Well, what if, what if uh, somebody trying to get like a little beefed up? So we do that too. So okay. we do, we do, uh, we do girth enhancement. Okay. So guys will come in for girth enhancement. Um, oh, but what if so they want to get a little, get a little taller too, like? You mean with uh, length? Just a little height, yeah. I yeah, understand. so length is hard. So length um, is a lot harder than girth. We, um, we use like filler. So filler is, um, we use it off label. So filler is what you see like when women try to add volume to their face, right? Okay. You do that filler. So we place the filler in the penis. They come in, it's about an hour procedure, right? We numb up the penis. We do it in the office, <coughs> right? We do it, the, no, it's not painful. Once we numb it up, you don't feel anything. So you can walk out, so you come in here, you not come here. Then go and leave out yeah, with some respect. So before anything. you come in, we have you do all these scrubs and everything, make sure everything's okay. clean. We clean you up in the room, numb everything up, right? And then we, um, over like an hour or so, we place the filler uh, kind of in between the skin and in between the area of the penis if it's erect. And guys, when they leave, they're able to, you can, you can see the difference, right? They can't use it for a minute though. Oh, how long can you can't use your say About two minutes, two, two weeks. Damn. Two weeks. That's Ooh, a long time. Gotta keep it down. Well, because we want it to heal properly. Right? But what if you don't want to do it? What if you don't want to do it? It's 
worth it. He said it's worth it. Hold up. No, it's worth now, it to you. Now, what if you don't want? What if you don't want your? What if you don't want the lady to know what's going on? Like, you know what I mean? And she probably like. She probably well, she's gonna know what's it. going on after she sees the before and after pictures. Oh, okay. So she's gonna know, oh, right? She's she's gonna know the difference, right? And so um, first of all, though, it's not gonna give you no limp. It's just gonna make you stocky. He said. That's like a bulldog. You know what I mean, that ain't bad though. Like, like, how much do the procedures like cost? Like, is it costly? It's costly. So filler is costly. You figure you start. It's gonna start around thirty-five to four thousand dollars. That's not bad to, to, to bring your happiness back. Start. start. You, you start. Go six and then, fillers. Huh? And then you go there, there. I'm just asking the question. Yeah. And then depending on how many fillers you get from there, then it kind of goes up. But it usually starts around thirty-five. Depending on the type of filler, what's the most filler somebody ever got? Oh man, I had to stop this one guy. You know, he was asking for too much. So, um, you know, you can get up to like 10, 10 syringes, is what we call 30, it. Thirty thousand. Yeah, but we don't. Um, you got twenty on you, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. But we don't like. At some point, you know, it's one of those things where, like, you know, we. I want guys to kind of settle in, kind of feel, see how it feels, and. You know, most guys, uh, almost all the guys are real happy. Say if, say if, like, do you do payment plans or, or do say, or, or do they can they, they get medical money? support? Or, no, no. Can they get medical support? No, it's not medical support. For your dick. The, the, uh, the oh, insurance saying, women be having medical, like, it's women get served. They got all the support. The men ain't got no support. They got, uh, what's that stuff for the uh, women? You know what I'm talking about? They want to get surgery. Oh, yeah. again. Like for the for the like breast implants? Yeah, all that paint stuff. What they got? This some type of hookup. Yeah, the breast implants are, most of them aren't covered either. Like most, of stuff, stuff, no, most of the cosmetic stuff. No, hold up. Most of the cosmetic stuff they're not really covered um, because it's cosmetic, right? You know, the insurance companies will pay for uh, like hypertensive medication, diabetic medication, but they're not really worried about the size of your pain. Well, what about what about uh, so the guys has got a, we got a bad. We don't get no medical support out here. Yeah, it's messed up. It's messed up. He's he's gotta, he's, we gotta change the Just for the record, just for the record, he's in Dr. Paul Giddings' office speaking for dicks across the no, country. Not, we don't get no, we don't get no support no, for our dicks. We small. need support for our Get with your local, your local state people to figure out, your local representative to figure out how the laws be made so they may get some support. Well, this is one thing I need to add. So do y'all take like American Express and all that type of stuff? So okay. we take, uh, we take, uh, we're self pay So we take stuff like, uh, unfortunately we don't take insurance for any of the things we do. Okay. Oh, yeah. You take American Express? So we take- Oh, he ready to get hooked up. No, I'm ready to pay for yours. Yeah, that's you that's 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 we get too much money for you. Ask, I you hear that question. On your dick. We don't get no grants. No, no. You want college to hold us for your We don't get no grants for my I'm just asking, so people want to know, because, all right, so. You ain't so, telling brothers, go so to the government, is, march outside the White House, grants for that. What, what is, what is, when, when do you, get you know, money, when do you know, when is the first sign that you, that you, you, you might be in trouble, your penis might be in trouble? Well, I mean, most guys, when they're trying to start to have it, of course, and it's just not getting as hard, right? Oh, that's, that's like the biggest thing, mm -hmm. you know, or guys, when they're having sex, they might be, you know, into it, and then it just kind of falls down. Damn, man. You, you don't think they're, in, they're not into the woman? Might not be no, no, it's not. You know, we can't blame it on the women. Yeah. Oh, no, damn. No, okay. It's not the woman. It's something. It's usually something that's going on with the guys, right? So, you know, when we look at our penis, we, it's kind of a reflection of what's going on in the body. So, does this person have like diabetes, hypertension, low testosterone? All these things kind of play a role into, you know, how we do sexually in the bedroom. But what if you just, from the little thing, you just you just get like this? That means you, you got a good you got a good penis. Yeah. Though. Right, for right now, but even guys, some guys get like this up front, so they'll have a good heart erection initially, and then as I mentioned, as they're having sex, it might start going down. So there's a lot of little indications. But sometimes that'd be because of the Gucci thing. Could be, could be, could be. But most of the time, it's the guy. You know, trying to hold his breath in and hit it the same time. <laughs> now, 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 what, what, what is it like, like, all right, what age do dudes like, is there any age limit that, that the penis? So I, so I see guys that are in their 20s. Oh. I see guys that are in their 90s that just started having some problems. So I see, see guys in their 20s and 90s. <laughs> now, My nigga work in 94. So it doesn't, ma it, doesn't, um, it doesn't matter who you, I see guys that, you know, in my practice, people come in that are billionaires, people come in that are, you know, not making so much money. It doesn't matter what you make, it doesn't matter the color of your skin, you know, but it does boil down to kind of the health, right? The more you exercise, the more you diet, the less likely those things are to happen. 
you know, you stay away from diabetes, stay away from hypertension. Is there any food, like, is there any natural foods that you eat that give you good penis health? Like any natural food that's good food? Well, it's foods? all the good foods. So it's the bad foods that really hurt. That so really what's the, what is the good foods? So the good foods, fruits, vegetables, okay. you know, all the things that, you know, Man, we don't like to eat. eat all this shit, dog. This shit don't mean nothing. It's, it's like, that's the thing, right? It's But it's the bad food that's really dog, positive. I like, eat burgers and steaks. Burgers. <laughs> and my Works now, now, yeah. now, what he I want to know is fruit and veggies. I'm trying to figure out, and his piece is on edgy. When I'm That's why he like, if you shaking the dice a lot, do that, do that hurt you? That you was a car stop, though. No, nah, not really. I mean, it depends on how often you're doing it. What if you did it like you know? I'm saying I was in the joint. I did it like every day. No, yeah. that's all right. I mean, you oh, right, once a day is cool. Once a day is cool. All right, cool. Yeah, you good with that? Yeah. But Doc, let me just say something, right? <laughs> No, I'm just asking me because I need to know. If you come in here for the beef and broccoli package, mm -hmm, beef and broccoli, that's really got something to do with you. It ain't got nothing to do with your dick going out. That just want you. You just want your dick to be stocky like Robbie. Yeah. So for for that situation, well, you know, for that situation when guys come in, it's more on the aesthetics. They just wanna they wanna feel bigger. Like what guy doesn't really want to have a bigger penis? Well, a lot of guys do, right? So they come in. These guys might have just been um, kind of just feeling this way for a long time where they feel insecure about the size of their penis. And so they're coming in just to be a little bit larger so they can walk a little taller kind of thing. Yeah, they you feel bigger. Yeah. yeah so now, yeah. do you have like a, a price sheet or stuff like that so I can check stuff out? You know what I mean? Just because I just want to be, you know, I just was doing a stuff like some. Man, some, tell some, the truth, man. Shut up, turn the camera off. No, so I'm doing some truth. research. I'm doing some study. Research. I'm trying to understand, you know. You what I mean? have price sheets and all this how I'm gonna pay for it. Oh, in the clinic. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah all right. Yeah, cause that, you know, it's just, it's just wow. So, how long you been in the game, Doc? So we, I opened up this practice in 2014, right? So I was just here in Philly at that time, and then uh, before that I was in New York. So then I opened up a practice in New York. So I see a bunch of patients right across from Grand Central Station up there in Manhattan. And then I have another office up in Allentown there in Boca. So you also, ever seen a guy that you was like, I can't do nothing for you, buddy, he's just dead? No, you know, I would say we treat, I would say like 98% of the guys get better. You know, not 100%, I wish I, I could say that, but about 98% of the guys get better. And there's 2% out there that's just like... It's just severe. And they, wah, wah. And they need an implant. No, and it's always something for them. No, it's always like, something for them. they get a Reebok pump in there? Yes, well, you, you got it, right? So there, no, there's, for real? Place, there's a penile implant that's out there that guys can get if they're so severe where I can't... Wait, hold on, and they got to pump it up? They got to pump it up every time. Oh, you got a remote control? Wait, oh, hold on. They Actually, it's funny because they're coming out with remote control versions soon. So, so you can just be walking down the walking in the... In, and then boom. When you got a Reebok pump in your dick, you can still come? Yeah, you can. Yeah. Do you come? Oh, no, no, I'm about no. to hear him now. No. <laughs> oh, he, he naked in there. You got a girl in there and my fucking batteries in his remote dead. Yo, what you using? Battery? <laughs> you charge it up? How is it? No, it's not available now. Now they just pump them. They, they just pump them up now. The ones we have now, they just pump So if you got to do it, you got to pump it up yourself, hit it and pump it up? Yep, you pump. And then when you finish, you just just a little release valve. Inside of you, click. So if a chick don't know, then they yeah, tell when she know, giving she you heads, you got to be hitting the pump like she getting you ups. You know, she wouldn't know if you, unless she told it. There, it's all concealed on the inside. Yeah, but she gonna know cause she gonna be like, she gonna, she gonna feel she, like no plastic stuff? No, it's no plastic. It's just no, but she gonna be like, he never wanted hit. We had sex 400 times. He always go to the bathroom and just come out with a hard <laughs> Now, like, what about, what's the name? What about, what about, uh, do it lose any of its strength and girthiness by the cut? Cause you, you gotta cut it open and put a tube in For the, uh, for the implant. So you can lose a little bit of girth and length. Yeah. Oh, oh. You can't. See, but, but you gotta understand those guys, right? Those guys aren't functional, right? So those are the severe guys. Those are the guys that, that's that 2% or so that it's not functional at all. So for those guys, and it, so if now they're able to have intercourse, so they're happy. If they lose a little length and girth, it's all right, right? Because before they weren't doing anything. But like, I like to get to those guys before they get to the point where they need an implant. So we're restoring their penis, we're increasing blood flow to the penis, we're doing all these things. So when they're in the bedroom, they're more confident they can have sex. So, so that's, that's my role in the whole thing. Basically, Rockwell, Center for Sexual Medicine and Wellness. All they gotta do is go online, Google y'all, 
and can come here. No matter anywhere in the country. Y'all got two spots, one in Philadelphia, one in New York. And then one up in Allentown. The yeah. one in Allentown. So all they got, and it's discreet. Nobody know their business. Nobody know. I mean, we see people, listen, I take care of actors. I take care of Congress guys. I take all care of people. So when he come in. People. So it doesn't, it doesn't, you know, and nobody knows anybody that, you know, we keep everything tight here. Yeah, because I just wanted to know, because I want to be on top. That's why I want to get all the, any, I need all the literature that y'all got here, like price. I just want to be because, because I'm just a person that always want to be, I want to be proactive, yeah. not reactive. So I just want to know later on in life, I'm like, you know what I mean? Just, I just want to keep the stuff, like all the prices and all that type of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, even being proactive, so we actually use a pump. Like, so um, I talk for this pump company. You got a pump, man? You got, we got a can you show us? You want to be so proactive. I got some pumps for you. <laughs> yeah, let me see that, John. I don't, I don't, I, don't, I, just, I want to keep it prepared for you. Hold on. Yeah, let me get to see that. This is great day. You want a pump? So this is one of the pumps that I use for my guys. I'm gonna give this to you as a gift. I heard you like Hennessy. I got some Hennessy for you, but um, this is probably gonna be better for you. Oh, let me so see that. Here's, um, this is like the, we call this an exerciser. It's a pump that we use. So guys will use this in the shower, right? And it, what it does is just increase the circulation. So it's not, you're not masturbating, right? You, this is just more for exercise. Okay. And I'm gonna keep it all the way real, Doc. I got right? so my wife busting shower, I got my in that joint, I'm being, she gonna <laughs> well, think listen, I'm cheating. We talking about prevention, cause right, we talked about earlier uh, when you came in that um, about 40% of 40 year olds gonna have some erection problems, 50% of 50 year olds. So what we do is we just try to prevent. So what we're doing is we're just- This is this? This is that, yeah, that's what that is. And so you just put it on and what that? Yeah, so you're gonna put this on the shower, you're gonna pump it up, pump it up, your penis goes up, you hold what it you up. What you mean pump it up, how you pump it up? So put it against your body like this, Right, and you're just gonna pump it up in the shower. Okay. So that's like a off. that's like a little mini jerk off. It's a mini jerk off, but not really, right? Because you're not gonna oh, do, you're not gonna ejaculate. This is so nice. that's one of the things. So that we guys do. need that. No, it's, we talk. We're just talking. Listen, when you guys come this to see me, they either have they either have problems they want, or they want to be proactive. So what I'm right? saying is, why you toss these to us when my dick is perfectly because fine? Because at, at some point, at some point. No, don't put that on my dick. No, I'm just saying. Some Person, person sitting in that chair at some point they're gonna have some problems and yeah, the person, person sitting in that chair, chair right there that's true that's true that's true that's i'm telling you probably here why this meeting have you even going down and so that's what we do to help prevent things mm -hmm. And before you get to me, and then when you get to me, this is part of my treatment regimens that we do. You know, so we do something like core wave, we'll do Botox for the penis, we do like PRP for the penis. We do all these things for the penis to help to kind of um, kind of restore and regenerate it. So you don't need to be on the Cialis or Viagra, or if it's not working, we kind of push back on. You gotta put your dick on the generator, man. You know, this is this, this is you know what this is some of the best information I ever ran into. I need to uh, I gotta get your card just, in, but I need you gotta uh, like uh. Reading material? Any, any yeah, yeah, I got some. I so know, we a lot of stuff online. So, so guys who don't even got issues supposed to use this. So we use that for guys that are starting issues. So, oh, so I ain't. Mean, so this might reverse my dick, Doc. No, no, I throw this on my. Put it in your closet when you got it. When you need it, just pull it out. Nobody's gonna know. No, nah, Doc. Call me up. I'm gonna I'm get it to somebody, call. Doc. You, you give it to because him. I don't. I don't believe in in. You know. I put this in my closet. I might need it in three days just because it's in my closet. See, you know, you know what, Doc? Ain't doing that shit. Listen, Doc. At the end of the day, at the Doc. At the end of the day, he he might start calling day, for uh, it just because it's in the closet. He uh, he lacks understanding of why we're here. See, it's about education. No, no, we we, we here education. because you so ain't acting right. Stuff like this, you want to keep around, guys. I, I reference. The piece ain't got no bullets in it, man. Get that, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Uh, just information. I just need some information and stuff like that. And the pay sheet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see that. Let me see that sheet. Yeah, I'll get, I don't really have one, but I'll tell you. We can talk about it. I need to know, like, um, you said everything about what you need to eat. Is there any, like, not Viagra, any all natural pills? Because I was thinking about investing in this company. Yeah. At all natural. Is it is it natural pills? And is it natural? What is nat natural? in the world that you can utilize, whether it's a plant, whether it's a name, that's really the real deal. Yeah, so um, so what we talk a lot about is nitric oxide. So, okay. so nitric oxide is a chemical your body makes, right? And what it does is it helps to kind of increase blood flow in places. And one of the places we need a lot more blood flow is the penis, right? Because mm -hmm. when we get an erection, all it is is just relaxation of the muscle and blood flow is just shooting in and less of it is coming out, right? So we use a lot of nitric, so I use a lot of nitric oxide supplements. And you can get nitric oxide from like beets, 
right? So beets, so people eat beet salads and all these other things like watermelon seed, pumpkin seeds. Okay. All those things have high nitric oxide levels because they have something called L-citrulline. So that's the direction we should really be rolling in. It's um, kind of more um, uh, the natural things that have high nitric oxide. So it's a but problem. if you want to talk about some seeds, stuff, stuff, show, you can send them to me and I'll tell you if it's, if it's something that's worth Oh yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to yeah, yeah, yeah. get you on text and we want to shoot back for well, yeah, we gotta go somewhere. We cut the camera. We ain't gotta go somewhere else. <laughs> we gotta go do something. Okay, put this right there and just. Yeah, I'll tell you. Guys. So you got it's a water pump. It's a water right. pump. You gotta be in the shower. Put water in there. Okay. Yeah, so you gotta. Put it, uh, I'll have Desiree send you guys the videos on how to do it. All right, but oh, you put water. Yeah, so you put water in there and you just. Yep. And then you get the blood, walking out. All right, real quick. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna call you, man. Get the blood. Get information. Appreciate you, Doc. All right. Yeah, yeah, right. Why would you be downstairs? Why you be The mayor now, I mean, you know they put me up here put off He's a nigga. <laughs> put him two floors above the mayor. No, he's he's like mayor back in the toilet. <laughs> well, you got a rash on your ass in Vegas. Why you got to put something on the toilet? No, you got a rash on your ass in Vegas. <laughs> We was in a casino, he took a shit in Cosmopolitan. What? Yeah, but I got a shit in a regular bathroom. And he got a rash on his ass, his back and anything. <laughs> oh, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, well, cuz, did you put some on his back Chris, and everything? Chris, Chris got uh, ointment. I need some ointment. Oh, what's going on? It was all over his whole he body. He wanted to my lotion. Uh. <laughs> he took a shit in a public bathroom. He said, stop telling my business. Oh, man, I got a shit. Hold up, hold up, cuz. Watch the door. I'm like, what? Go ahead, man. You keep telling my business. You got a rash for your t shirts. You keep telling my business. I ain't telling niggas when your cell phone on fire. Valentine's Day in prison. She wasn't taking a shit now. He said, I ain't telling the niggas. We can sit up for a while. You know the bitch. Come on, ask me again. He got a rash on his back all the way up here. Yeah. Him and it's his neck. He raw dog that motherfucker <laughs> taller than Cosmo. You know you raw dog that tall as TT. He's called a TT raw dog. <laughs> that was a name back in the day before y'all, before she was whack. She was Sierra Crack. Big A TT raw dog. I want to be here if it wasn't for 
some folks, right? To help me get in the game. Uh, yo, come here. Where, where my man at? Where my man at? Yo. First of all, right, before we go any far, I just want to thank everybody that came out and everybody that support Million Dollars Worth of Game. That support Gilly and Wallow Adventures. That support Wiz Wallow, Gilly on Sports. That support Gilly Fest. That support Gilly and Wallow KO Party. We really appreciate y'all, man. From the bottom of my heart, man. And for everybody that ever sent me some love about the situation that happened with my son, I truly appreciate y'all. That's on everything. Now when it come down to this podcast and shit, y'all the king. Y'all got it. I want to say this, right? We got the hardest job in the game. Give it to him. That's it. Because everybody that came before us. One of the main reasons why they popped off is because they was promoting negativity. You know how hard it is to pop off and you being positive? Because they say, the youth don't want to hear that shit. They ain't trying to hear no old shit telling them how to be a young man. They don't want to hear that shit from you. But everything that we do, this our whole team right here. That's it. That's it. That's it. This our whole team right here. That's it. Now, unfortunately, I fuck they lives up. They live with me, <laughs> but they get paid good, and they get to take free trips to what's that country you went to with your wife? Saint Martin. Saint Martin and all that type of shit. So. But everything we do is with these two right here. Everything. We ain't got a big production crew. Not to cut off. Um, reason that we got them too, because for some reason a lot of cameramen got into a cameraman. I'm giving you this game. Pay attention. Everybody want to be slabs. A lot of dudes say, "Oh, let me give them Gilly a while so I can take pictures. Let me just go promote them." They are cameramen that want to be cameramen. They don't want to be stars. They don't want to rap. They ain't got a line. Y'all be doing too much. Shit. Like, because we need people that want to focus. And a lot of times you see all this big production, that's so mean that we just did, we just did some of our biggest shows at Trap Houses. We pull up, we got two cases, that's it. Nothing supersedes the content. Oh, I got this guy, I shot, I don't give a fuck you shooting with your phone. You can do it, get that shit out there, be consistent, know what you're doing and stay the fuck in the pocket. And the one thing about me and him, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If he's wrong, he's wrong. We understand our strengths and we respect our weaknesses. We got two parts to play. I don't want to do it by myself. He don't want to do it by himself. So if you got a team, you got to figure that shit out. Don't be deep in the ego battles and all. That shit don't work like that. You see what I'm saying? Me and him, we got two different angles and we're going to do this shit. But when we sit down and that mic go loud, we get the fuck busy. I don't care where it's at. We get on the planes, we book the flights, and we get to where we got to go. We might get called, while I'm here, I might get a text. We gonna be somewhere, we might gotta be in Alaska tomorrow. We will be on that plane tomorrow morning. We not, and, and that's what it is. Everybody see this, you see two dudes, y'all think, oh, they just on the couch. I'm gonna bust a podcast. I'm thankful that we was able to inspire so many people and we were be able to show a different style and let y'all know it's not hard, but it's also some work you gotta put in. I'm by myself. You know what I mean? And some work we gotta put in because what happened is, a lot of people sit back, and they think it's gonna be fast. No, it ain't that easy. It ain't, it, it ain't that quick. You gotta put the work in every day. You gotta just keep it like, we might do, we might do, some days, the, our, our craziest week, we did 15 shows in a week of staff. And we was running the fuck around, I'm talking about no sleep, hotel, I'm getting bed bugs and shit. Cause I got a crazy hotel. He told me, why you get, cause listen man, I fucking get Detroit, I had to get this you know what I mean? They tore his ass up, too. <laughs> we, we in the middle of, we going to shoot five gas in the middle of war zones. I'm like, hold up, Dutch. Is that what you did? That's why he cried in his dirty interview. He did. 
Tuh temen 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 They try to put us in the box like we just a podcast, and I'm like, y'all know any other podcasts out here that's doing thirty some thousand pay per view buys and putting twenty eight hundred motherfuckers in an arena to see some niggas from the ghetto fight? <laughs> it's about what twenty eight hundred niggas can't see meatball fight. <laughs> what the fuck else is doing that? All right, now listen, I'm a professional fighters out here with ninety two. Hey, listen, hey, cuz, we gotta get the show going. Those roads, the roads, folks, and Reggie in the back. All right, I appreciate y'all for having me. Yeah, this is the best part of the show. Make some noise for that last 